Do you know that over half of our prayer requests are prayers for other people? And I've always liked that. It shows your concern. It shows your caring. And when people send in prayer requests, often without the people that are being prayed for knowing about it, it just shows a real spiritual intent. When there is a need for comfort, our heart often questions, what can I do to bring comfort to this situation or to this person? We want to be helpful, and the love in our heart seeks a way to express that help. Well, we can always pray. I believe that it is the most powerful thing we can do. Prayer brings peace when peace is needed, strength when strength is needed, upliftment where upliftment is needed. There is power in the thought of love and in the affirmative power of the word of prayer that declares the truth of God for when God is needed in a situation, when two or more are gathered, it brings an awareness of God to the person that is seeking God and seeking comfort. Our prayer may be for the other person. The love of our Lord comforts you. The love of our Lord comforts you. Wherever the one in need of comfort may be, whatever the need may be, God is with them and there is no separation. And when we're praying with this other person, there is no separation either. Prayer bypasses time and space. The effect of prayer is felt as a warming of the heart, a strengthening of faith, a flow of peace. The love of God comforts all who have the need today. Well, I pray that as we're praying for others, or perhaps we're praying for ourselves for comfort, that we feel the comfort of God. In Isaiah, it says, Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Well, it is God's will that you are comforted. It is God's will that you feel that strength and that peace inside of you because you're connected to your Creator. God bless you.